Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, welcome. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys the Mint Melt Collection by e.l.f. I only picked up three items and I'm going to be trying them for the first time ever. So I'm so excited. This palette right here is called Mint to Be and it has four shadows and it runs for $4. You can find it at e.l.f. Cosmetics website or also exclusively at Walmart. And then the next eyeshadow palette is called Chocolate Mint. And I'm applying my MAC Paint Pot all over the eyelid. And then I'm just softening up the edges with a sponge. I did a lot of editing in this video because I actually was all over the place. I was not going to upload it, but I'm glad I did. A lot of you in the past videos that I uploaded last year asked me to do a close-ups of eyeshadow looks. But I'm also using a new camera that I had for about two years, but I just started using it again. And so it gets out of focus due to having the mirror. As you can see, like the edge of the mirror, it's focusing on that instead of the eye looks. So those are things that I need to work on and pay attention to for future videos. So right here, I'm just blending out the edges and you could also use a rag or the back of your hand or a t-shirt like I do most of the time, but just blend, 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 blend. And I must say that the eyeshadow brushes work pretty well, very decent for sure and soft. And now I'm cutting the crease with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, all time favorite. This part, I did not want to edit just in case any of you guys are trying to learn how to cut the crease. I am not perfect whatsoever, not a pro, but love sharing what I know, love learning, and definitely most of all growing together. So as you can see, it came out of focus again, but definitely we'll be working on that. And I'm just glad overall that I'm uploading another video thank you so much for everybody who has contacted me and asking me if i'm doing well i really just been really busy but hopefully i can start uploading again more consistently and i'm just glad to be here with everyone being part of your journeys and thank you for always coming back and giving me your unconditional support so now i'm here stamping the next shade is actually this shimmer it's very pretty and i was very surprised to see that it's very pigmented as this is the first time that i use this eyeshadow palette i wanted to use just the brush on its own to see how much pigmentation i would get i actually had to go back a second time and dip the brush a bit more and swirl it up in there because i wanted to see how much pigmentation i could get and i was pleasantly surprised to see that i did not get any fallout so that was definitely a big plus in my opinion. So now I'm just blending out the edges. That way we don't have a harsh line in between. That's pretty much what I'm doing right now. And it worked very well. And then clean up any excess that you feel might have came out. That way it could be sharp and pretty and bold. As I like to have my eyeshadow looks of course. Everybody has their own preference. Now I'm getting the Chocolate Mint eyeshadow palette. And I used each and every shade for both of the looks. Right here I'm just stamping the eyeshadow across and then grabbing a fluffy brush and blending it throughout the entire lid. And they blended pretty good. For $4, definitely worth a try. And then the brushes for the pack of three brushes was a total of eight dollars so my total at walmart came out to be seventeen dollars and twenty cents for the two four dollar four dollar eyeshadow palettes and then the eight dollar brush sets so now i'm grabbing the second darker brown in the pan and adding it to the outer v of my eyelid and then just swiping it back and forth, back and forth. Any excess that is coming out of the 
lid doesn't really matter because at the end we could just always use a wipe and get that out of the way let me know if you would like for me to do another makeup look and a close-up like this in the comments down below i'd really appreciate that so now i'm cutting the crease using the morphe brush one two four it is my all-time favorite brush to cut the crease definitely works very well and so now i'm picking up the shimmer and the chocolate mint quad and we're gonna go ahead and apply it across the lid as you can see i had no pigmentation so then i used my finger and as you can see it is very pigmented very pretty very bold and i am very happy <laughs> it worked very very well love it so when the brush doesn't help then we could always use to stamp it up with our finger so yes 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 and now i'm grabbing the brush again just to blend out that hard edge and i did not apply any eyeshadow it was just very pigmented on that brush but you could always use a makeup wipe a rag your t-shirt <laughs> the back of your hand to take off the excess of the brush and here i am applying the mint shimmer and that chocolate mint quad applying it to that inner corner and then to the top of my brow bone something i never do but i remember it this time <laughs> And so here is a finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below what would you like to see next. I'm not a professional makeup artist, but I love sharing, learning, and growing with each and every one of you. Here's a quick side-by-side -side comparison of a Morphe brush and my e.l.f. brush. Wanted to share that with you. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Until next time. Bye.